It's December in the Midwest, and the whitetail rut has dwindled down to near zero. Most of the leaves have fallen from the trees, making the forest floor almost carpet-like, and winter has officially arrived. Bucks are run down from chasing does, and deer activity has slowed down from what it was several weeks ago. Today, I'm in Ohio on a property that I've been to many times before, and its diverse habitat makes it the perfect place to hunt whitetails. This is what they call X-Factor Whitetails of Ohio, and is home to some of the most incredible whitetail hunting in the Midwest. This property is located about an hour west-northwest of the Columbus, Ohio airport near the small township of West Liberty. Joining me on today's show is my friend Bill McDonald. Bill is from Indiana and he is a nut about hunting whitetail deer. This is the first time Bill has ever visited the property and he's in for a treat. Bill, you see that tree right there? Uh-huh. Years ago, my son and I were sitting in that tree and he shot a great big old buck here. Seriously? Yeah, he came down from over there and I mean... Everybody out here has been covered up with deer. I can't believe this deer. I can't believe this hunt. I know. This has been one unbelievable hunt. You know, I don't know how long it's been since we did something like this together that we spent the time to go do something like this, but I have really, really enjoyed it. So did I. I enjoyed it even more, and it's been too long. I know it has been. And, you know, the outdoors has a way of bringing people closer together, and you can be uh, friends or you can be family. I love you, son. I love you. And I am very, very proud of you. It's been way too long. I know. I can still do that. I'm your daddy. <laughs> Big old tracks around here. I'm gonna show you something. This tree line right here, they are flat, tearing it up. The stands of trees look different now that the leaves have fallen, and the food plots have been hammered by deer looking to put back some much needed calories as the post rut finds many of the bucks run down. Got a scrape right here, another scrape right here. Yeah, they like this buck. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Armasite, the titanium vacuum sealer, supercharged scent killer by Wildlife Research Center, 99%. BSA Optics, Gamo Adult Precision Air Rifles, Texas Hidden Springs Ranch, and Grave Digger Broadheads. The High Road will be right back. Tannerite brand Binary Exploding Rifle Targets presents viewer feedback. All right, here's one from a lady. Her name is Ricky Johnson. She says, I'm outraged after finding your videos on YouTube. Murder, murder, and more murder. I watch you glorify your actions like some hero. You are sick and must be stopped. Hunting is wrong and immoral. Uh, Ricky, odds are you've never been hunting. Odds are you've never been with a hunter. 
if you want to go with a hunter i know lots of them uh if you you know if you're going to sit there and say it's immoral then i think that being stupid is probably should be immoral too so you know is it wrong being stupid is wrong and I think that uh, by you sitting here making accusations that, that what we're doing is, is wrong and we're trying to glorify actions, no we're not. We're trying to spread the good word about hunting to a lot of other people so they start understanding and respecting nature a little bit better, getting connected to nature a little bit better. So Ricky Johnson, I think you're wrong. For me personally, I enjoy hunting the Midwest during October when the leaves are turning colors and the shortening of days means that winter is quickly approaching. The last time I hunted here, it was late October and with crossbow in hand, I was able to arrow a few big fat Ohio does to fill the freezer. And I must admit, it amazes me to see how big even the does are here in Ohio. How's that? I had hunted for several days, and in the last few minutes of remaining light on the final day of the hunt, a big-bodied mature buck showed up, and I sent an arrow through his heart. Get there. Got him. Got him. I smoked him. I had, literally, we're almost out of light. We are almost out of light. And that buck came out there, and I was like, hey, he stopped, and you could see the luminosity go right through him. The buck weighed an impressive 250 pounds and had a massive set of antlers. I was thrilled that I was being able to hold this big old buck. And secretly, I hoped that someday I would be able to hunt here again. This place truly is a whitetail hunter's dream come true. This is a Savage Model 111 lightweight hunter rifle. And this particular one is in 270 caliber. And as far as 270 goes, that's my favorite caliber. Why? Because it doesn't have a lot of recoil. It shoots extremely flat, has a big enough punch to take down just about anything on the North American continent. It's a pretty little gun. This one right here has been to Alaska and all the way down to Mexico and all over with me. And I love a 270 because 270 ammunition is available just about every place you can buy ammo. So. Uh, the downside uh, about this rifle and any lightweight rifle is the fact that recoil with a lighter rifle, you need to be a little bit concerned about it because the recoil will wind up uh, coming at, back and biting you if you're not careful. But the upside is because it's so light, it's easy to pick up point and, and aim. Uh, if you're in tight quarters, it's uh, real simple. So this is a, uh, one of my favorite little rifles. It's topped off, I've got a three and a half to two, uh, 10 power BSA Majestic scope on it. The reason why I like this three and a half to 10 range is simple, uh, because in low light conditions, I can turn, crank the power all the way down to three and a half, which gives me a lot more light gathering capability. If it's bright and I really want to zoom in, I can crank this dude up to 10 power and, uh, and basically see an eyelash. So this is, the, this is the medicine we're gonna to take to him today. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Reconix, Record Rack Deer and Elk Feed, Burt Coyotes Luminoc, Shadow Hunter Blinds, Elevators, Diamond Down Thermal Gear, Ion Cameras, and Tannerite. The High Road will be right back. After putting out the Reconyx game cameras, we determined that most of the bucks were nocturnal, and actually we got very few pictures during the daylight hours. The weather's cold, and I'm glad that Bill and I are seated in a box blind rather than in a tree stand. With a slight wind blowing, the sides of the blind actually block the wind, providing a bit of relief from the cold. But as cold as it is now, this is nothing in comparison to the hunt that I filmed out of this exact same blind four years earlier.
Thank you, mister. You guys aren't going down anymore, Joe. No. Secret for you, you hit him. Did I? You hit him good. I wanted your reaction on camera. Did I? You got him. You got him. Did I get him? You really did. He teeter tottered. You really did. I didn't see him teeter totter, but I played the video back. You got him. I got him. I, yeah, you got him. I got Puck, him. Pucker up, big boy. <laughs> I'll tell you what. <laughs> when he came walking out, Oh. I looked over there and said, oh my goodness gracious, I mean, that is one daddy old buck. And oh, you better believe it. The, the, the cool thing about coming up here is these deer don't shrink when you walk up to them. No. They get bigger. I mean, look at that guy. Look at the mass I, on him. I didn't anticipate, you know, looking, it was what, a good 135 yard shot. And looking through binoculars and through a scope, you don't see the mass. Oh, it's incredible. I mean, take a look at it. He's bladed. He's got, he's got it all. I mean, he's got time length, mass points. Man. What? Mm. <laughs> You're awesome. Oh. You're awesome. I'm well, proud of awesome. you. You're awesome. Thank you. You know, I promised to kiss somebody on the mouth <laughs> for a big deer. You ain't gonna oh. kiss me. <laughs>Hey, Bill McDonald here. I'm from Indiana. You know, I'm really looking forward to this. It's my first time ever to come over here to Ohio and have a deer hunt. And I am so looking forward to getting out here in these hills and ridges and this farmland and doing some hunting. Keith told me a lot about this property and he told me about some of the other hunts and I'm just really looking forward to having my shot at it. You know, scouting around on this property and walking around, something that I've really noticed is, I mean, the scrapes. They've got scrapes in here with trees as big around as my waist and more big around in my leg than, than any place I've ever seen in my life. And that just shows how much, you know, the quality management that they're doing here on this piece of property. And it's just, it's, it's fantastic. You know, this is my first hunt with Keith and more than anything, we've had an absolute ball. I mean, we are having fun out here. It's my first time to hunt with him, but I guarantee it's not my last. kidding me what a beautiful buck bill oh my god now that right there is worth coming to ohio for isn't it that's worth going anywhere for look at that you betcha i mean that's the kind of deer that you've been telling me you've been dreaming about he's got it all jeez I mean, he's got split brows he's got mass. look at the mass on that deer i mean just Wow. That deer really is beautiful. I mean, he's got he's got matching split brows. He's got these little flyers off of each side. And he's got mass all the way out to the end. And then I take a look at the mass. Look at the body on this deer. This deer is a brute, without a doubt. I mean, the, the I mean, everything he is... about him is beautiful. What do you think about coming to the Midwest? Of course, you live up here in Indiana, but you ever hunted Ohio before? This is the first time I've ever been, but I can promise you one thing, it ain't gonna be my last trip, <laughs> without a doubt. Well, like I said, it's anything and everything I've ever wanted, without a doubt, buddy. I can't thank you enough, Keith. This is unbelievable. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Walls Outdoor Goods, Liberty Safe, Oil Field Camo, Savage Arms, OpticsPlanet.com, Darton Archery, Vortex Range Finders, Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, 99%.
Castle Rock Outfitters, and Gerber. If you're hunting for animals that have a keen sense of smell, then you need to be concerned about eliminating as much human odor as possible. And here's how you can do just that. You can pre-treat your hunting outerwear by spraying it down with scent killer spray. When fully treated, your hunting clothes become a scent elimination suit. Apply it heavily and thoroughly wet the clothing down, and I like to hang my clothing up rather than lying it on the ground. After allowing the treated clothing to fully dry, you can store it in an airtight container for weeks before use. New supercharged scent killer works on contact and continues to work for days after drying, leaving your hunting apparel comfortable and scent free. Wildlife has done extensive field and lab testing on supercharged scent killer with amazing results. In fact, it was found to be 99% effective at stopping replicated human odor in testing at Rutgers University. Eliminating human odor is easy to do as long as you start with the right product. You know, here in the Midwest, this Ohio property looks a lot like Indiana. You know, we've got a good hardwoods in here. We've got ridges, we've got creek bottoms, we've got, we got agricultural fields, we've got bean fields, we've got corn fields, we've got food plots, there's water. This has got anything and everything you'd want to hunt out here. You know, I can't express enough what a blessing it is to be able to go to a piece of property that is actually managed properly and see the quality of animals. And I mean, there's lots of places you can go hunt, but when you come across one that is truly managed right, I mean, it's unbelievable and what a blessing it is to be able to hunt that kind of a property. You know, I use Keith's gun during this thing. It's a Savage 270. And uh, I mean, what a sweet shooting little gun. And we're still in negotiations. I'm still trying to end up taking that gun home with me. I don't think he's going to go for it. But I mean, it is a sweet shooting gun. I will own one of those here quickly. Now, this, this place we're hunting here, I mean, if you're wanting to go kill a deer of a lifetime and have a good quality hunt, fantastic accommodations, and, and you can eat more than you could ever think about, I mean, this is a place you need to put on there. I mean, it's, it's without a doubt one of the finest hunting places I've ever been in my life. Like I said, it's anything and everything I've ever wanted, without a doubt, buddy. I can't thank you enough, Keith. This is unbelievable. Finding a great place to hunt for big Midwestern whitetails can be difficult. I like to compare it to finding a great place to catch fish. The problem is, when you find that great place, I think it's human nature to keep it a secret. You know, the outdoors has a way of bringing people closer together, and you can be uh, friends or you can be family. X Factor Whitetails of Ohio is one of those great places where for the deer hunter that's looking to bag a big Midwest giant, they can realistically expect to have an opportunity unlike few other places I know. Man, what? Mm. <laughs> You're awesome. Oh. You're awesome. <laughs> this place is beautiful and the commitment that has gone into developing this special hunting ground in the Midwest is unparalleled. As hunters, we all make choices as we go to the field. How we hunt, where we hunt, and what we hunt are some of those choices that should be left up to each of us individually. Far too many times there are small groups of hunters to put themselves in a position to act like the moral compass for all hunters. Sometimes, they even operate under the disguise of conservation groups. I call these hunters elitists, as they look to find fault with our fellow hunters. Hunters, each and every hunter, is a part of a special brotherhood that finds joy as we take to the field. It's not so much as the size of the animals that we bring home that define success. It's the memories we take from each adventure. It enriches our lives and leaves us wanting more. For the millions of hunters that take to the field each year, we do so realizing that when it comes right down to it, it's all about the joy of the hunt. Ion Camera is the official sport camera used to film the high road.